Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Co-Emperors, the Wendish Co-Emperors, or the Wendish Empire Emperors. We still have not agreed on that for the <laughs> series yet. <laughs> okay, it will all come to us eventually, but it still has not come to us, so we're still trying to debate about the name. We really don't know what it is, people. We really just honestly don't know. I don't have time to figure it out either, so let's just continue our game. There's also featuring that guy Dom over there. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Teutonic Order want peace. I'm not going to peace out yet because I want other things. Things pertaining to Livonian order being under our sphere. Also, can yeah, we slow it down? Nice. I think I'm starting to get major amounts of lag. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, there we go. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. And hey, if all goes well, we can have a navy. I know. I know. <laughs> We can have a navy, everyone. Oh. I know. It's fabulous, but... It really is. It really is. What happened to my uh, outliner? Like, it put all my diplomats in the middle instead of up top where I like them. I really don't know. That happened to me, too. Oh, it's because we're having missionaries and sieges and culture conversions and all this kind mm. of junk. But I like my diplomats up top. Oh my goodness, there's actually a button where you could press on to, like, show in your little mini-tab provinces. Every single one of your provinces. That, okay. That's, a, that's actually would be very terrible for, like, bigger nations. Mm -hmm. Especially for something like a United Muscovy. Oh. Oh my goodness. And all of Siberia. <laughs> well, actually, the Siberian provinces are really huge. No, they are. Like, you don't really think about it, but those provinces are hella big. Like, compared to, oh, I don't know, European ones. Comparatively, they're definitely of different size and origin and different stuff. Now, should I seize, uh, seize up, um, siege Newmark, um, if... but, like, not take it? Because I know that Brandenburg was like, oh, Poland has Newmark. I want Newmark. Let's go to war with them. Hey, entirety of the HRE, want to go to war with them? Hey, we just ended that other war. Nice. And apparently here comes the big bag Austrians to come help us siege again. Ugh. Hey, and the Krakow University. We just got a university, dude. Do we want prestige? Uh, yeah, we want prestige. <gasps> Took me a moment. I was like, do we want prestige? Yeah, we want prestige. <laughs> now we can educate Oh, damn it, we got the call of peace. No, it's fine. Just, just... Keep okay. going. Okay, we have to siege up quickly. I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go send my army to go into the north. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, because we have to. Wait, when did this army get renamed the Army Z of Mon Merrills? Mm -hmm. Did you hey, you renamed my army too. What's up with this? Army Z Ermland. Army Z. Oh, Austin it's because we keep detaching for sieges. When did you? Oh, this is my doge, my personal doge army. There we go. Oh wow, that is a really terrible personal. Don't don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay, let's I, see. I'm looking at it. I'm highlighting it. No, don't. Everybody can see it now. No. Okay, yes. so let's see. Go finish up Awesome Pusin, and we're gonna go see the Livonia order really quick because I really do want them as a vassal. Okay. Having them as a vassal will give us a massive control over everything over here. Yeah, that'd be really nice to have. Also, one thing we should note is we have to make sure Muscovy doesn't expand much bigger than it already is. So make sure it doesn't take perm. Yeah. Well, if we could try to go into Siberia, I'm actually okay with that. Well, I just don't want to deal with the powerful Muscovy, though. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to deal with the gigantic green blob. It's gonna happen. No, we can stop it. We have They're the already taking Novgorod. It's beginning. We can stop him by giving Novgorod... Well, more power, technically. But we can do it. Trust me. Between you oh, and no. me, our power is limitless. Hey, get get out of here. Hmm. Wait, did you just split up my army? Was that your army? That was my army. Sorry. Hey, no. Now, I take all well, these... Well, one things. of these is mine. Well, too bad. You split them all up. This was my army. And now I have to rename my army. I'm taking taking these two troops and I'm going. I'm out of here. Okay. Yay, we just got a core province in Zeppelin. 
which means this should actually be really easy to the culture convert because we already have like everything there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we also just got a core province on Morelos too, or Mama Mama Meros, Mama Meros, and yeah, we're doing pretty good. Hey, they did help. You don't know. Remember do the not, agreement of the can't co siege. Remember the co agreement of the emperors. I I. Remember That's the part of my army. Of I sent force. I sent a force Remember stack the up there anyway. Remember the agreement of the emperors. I sent a force stack and you assimilated them into your group. So I'll go send an army to go help you. But remember the agreement of the emperors. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's the agreement of the emperors. You may not control my troops unless you want to get smacked. We don't exactly have a separation at this point. We don't. Even though we really should, because you just assimilated that as well. Okay, so after the end wait, of the wait, war, wait, wait, we wait. take them all wait, into wait, one big wait, wait, stack. Wait, wait, why did, why did, oh, oh, okay. What? Okay, okay, I got, I got very worried there for a second. Hmm. Because, like, whole, I thought the, I was looking at the Teutonic Order for Vassalization, when I was supposed to be looking at the oh. Argonian Order, so I was like, wait, wait, why did this jump to, like, 124% before I could vassalize them? <laughs> that make no sense. That make no sense. No sense. Let's see, and let's see. Helping you siege down. Yeah, after this, we're definitely going to have to combine our armies and divide it up again. Mm hmm Second loan. Yeah. Well, it's only two loans. We've had way worse campaigns. <laughs> Cries. Yeah. Friends. Yeah, we've, we've had way worse. Why is our vassal not doing anything? There. Vassal, hey, I want you to go siege up this land over here in San Megalia. San Megalia. I, are they I, gonna do it? Are they, I, are they gonna do it? I, I don't know. I think they might. I, I don't. I don't. I, I I don't know, but I hope they go do it. Um. So close. Come on. I just just go up there. It's fine. Yeah. Yay! Yay! He's doing it. He's doing it. It's a happy time. It is a happy time. Oh. <sighs> Let's see. We just need to get Livonian order underneath our control. Then we get Austin. Then how much do you want to take from the Teutonic order? Uh. Danzig, Kolm, Marienburg. Can we and get? Can we get? I'll, I'll cut it. I'll cut it as I see it. Like, basically, how much I can get away with. Okay, don't go up in diplomatic tech then. Mm. I know it's very tempting, but uh, don't go up into diplomatic tech until after we've negotiated the peace deal. Yeah, we need. Uh, since we're Eastern, we don't. We need about two hundred more. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my provinces and I look so happy. Oh, you got two base tacks in one of them. I have filthy orthodox in the other and one. You have a whole half base tax in the other. Yeah. It's because of the orthodox. Kind of have to get rid of them. Oh, wow. The call for peace is really starting to become bad. Uh, do you want to try and burn off some uh, war exhaustion? No, not particularly. I'm waiting until the end of this war, but we really... Like, this is a... I'm willing to take I'm willing to take the war exhaustion just because this is such a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Like getting all of our major like enemies done with in the beginning turns. This is like major. <laughs> like seriously, you know, we get the Teutonic Order, the Livonian Order, Lithuania. The orders. Yeah. We get the orders destroyed. We get we get those we get all of them destroyed in the first couple <laughs> turns. It's very nice. Well, not turns, but the first years. That's a really great event. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? If we have to deal with a little bit of revolt after this, I'm fine with it. And let's see. You have claims. Disputed succession. What? France? With who? With France? France has a disputed succession. Hey, France. Oh, time to inherit France. France, do you want a royal marriage? Oh, no, they don't want a royal marriage. Ah, oh, Ukrainians. It. Damn, it's in my provinces too. I may have to take my army back here soon. Well, detach a siege at least. Uh, I said soon. I no, didn't wait, say... no, no, hold on. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. We have our good friends in Lithuania and Moldavia gonna go clean it up for us. Good job, guys. Clean up our mess. Peace <laughs> uh, offer from the Tuts. The Toots. Don't accept yet. We have to wait till we get Livonian underneath our control. Mm -hmm. Well, I almost got uh, the Teutonics for. 100 war score. 
I know, but they're just like a little bit too big. Like just a little bit, which annoys me. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Mm hmm. All right, now it's just time to go deal with the Northerners. Mm hmm. And we'll be done. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. You said the man. These sieges are going so slow at speed too. Uh, I know. Well, I'm trying to juke this army. Come on, catch him, catch him. Yeah, there we go. But man, disputes of succession with France and England. That wow. would be great. Burgundy's also pretty bad too. Hey, Burgundy, would you guys ever accept a military alliance? Negative attitude, distance. Uh, you know, we could actually possibly get a royal marriage with Burgundy and maybe <laughs> get a Burgundian inheritance. That, I don't know if I would like that, though. But, but look, look They're at just all, so far away. But look at... But it's expansion. It's progress. It's a separate country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'll become a future big, gigantic country when we, like, become the whole we're gonna, Roman Empire. We're gonna cut for the entire Holy Roman Empire? Yes! Alright. Do you have dreaming. no ambitions? <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a difference between ambition and I fear Austria. We don't have to fear Austria here soon. If we get forget if we get Burgundy as our little vassal guy, mm. no fear from anyone in the entire world. Well, I don't know. There's the Russians. Yeah, I just said we're gonna beat up them too. So, wow. We do have ambition. ambitions. Yes, the entire world is my ambitions. If I could do a world is, conquest... Is Poland going to be a colonial power? Do we want to make Poland a colonial power? I don't see how. I Well, technically, I manage the trade nodes, but we didn't really delegate who manages the navy. Because we don't have a navy. Then we'll get to that issue here soon. So now I'm just, you know, looting <laughs> the Teutonic Order, basically. Uh, that's fine with me. We're just trying to siege up the rest of these provinces. Because mm -hmm. we have absolutely no navy to, to siege up the last little bit. Um, I'm getting more prestige. No, you can cross over. That's a land bridge. No, but they... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it up. yeah that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. Alright. Oh, we don't have any diplomats. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take back a diplomat once I get to about positive relationships with Burgundy. Cause I totally, if we could totally get like a little bit of land for like Burgundy and the Burgundian inheritance, mm -hmm. oh man, that's gonna that'd be, be nice. Oh yeah, that'd be really nice. <sighs> Looks like the uh, little war going on in uh, Europe's doing itself nicely. Little wars, are oh, Bohemia and Austria are at war with each other. Aw, you know, isn't it adorable? Yeah. It's also adorable that somehow Austria is almost losing. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, got positive relationships with Burgundy. Bring back my diplomat because you don't want to bring back yours because you want no. to make sure we have two hundred percent relationships with our good little guys in Mazovia. Well, basically, he's just there kissing her ass like day and night. That's all he does. <laughs> like asking every day, "Hey, you want to become a? You want to become a state?" Nah, we won't do it today, but maybe tomorrow, and after you clean up my yard. Okay. <laughs> I didn't tell him yet that he doesn't actually have to clean up the yard and stuff, but, you know, it's fun. Let's see. Alright, we're not quite accept yet, but we are getting there. Hmm. So close. Yet so far. Oh, yes. We're getting there. Getting there very, very slowly. We might not be able to get it though. The only problem is that we do need to kind of get Osen. Mm hmm. Osen, and I don't oh. know if they would let us do that. <laughs> okay, um, one more province. One more province, and let's see. I'm gonna go see if I can go put my soldiers on Osel. While there are no troops, while there are no troops right now blocking me, I'm gonna go see if I can do that quickly. Quickly. We want to make sure we have something there, and that way we don't get blocked up. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. No, What's not... happening? Teutonic, Livonian. I think, uh, 
What? The Lithuanian troops are going there as well. They're thinking the same thing I am. They're like, we have to get on that bridge. We have Whistle. to go. No. 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 I hate you. You tease. I hate you so much right now, Livonians. Oh, Such you, a tease. You're blocking our conquest of you by just one. One. Oh, my goodness. We could do it, too. Okay, well, I'm going to station my army right here. And when it happens, it'll be glorious. All right. Wait, wait. Bad, we don't even have, like, one ship to bait them out into the water. All right. Wait, I just thought of something. Maybe we could go around the other side. Because there's two land bridges, and both of them are not connected to the same zone. Mm -hmm. So the only way they could guard both of them is that they have to send and divide up their ships. But the AI is usually not that smart, so maybe well, what we could do... They've got, they've got troops in the Eastern Baltic. I know, just, but I mean like ships, ships. ships. Yeah, they, they've got ships in the Eastern Baltic. They could just uh, sail up north. Alright. But uh, looks see. like Lithuania's got that. No, or not. Okay. No, see, see, see what he did. Oh wait, That's go, 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 go Lithuania. Lithuania, go, go, oh. Lithuania! Don't stop! No, keep going! Don't stop believing, man! Don't stop! Lithuania, what are you doing, man? Go! Okay, I'm sending my troops. Haha. -ha. There's no way you can pe compete with us. Okay, let's go. No, no, go, go, go. See, you just competed. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Come on, come on, no! Ah, oh, they're so clever. Dang, they so are really clever. It's kind of annoying me. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep going. I am. I'm just setting. I'm just setting my troops in. We have high war exhaustion. I know we do. Uh, ah. There we go. It's all good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Is okay. it all better wait, now that stopped. we have like 300 they less? Stopped. Wait, wait! Are we gonna be able to get onto it? <gasps> Yay! Yay! And now we wait 20 more years. I'm gonna go try to go send my army go help. <laughs> oh my goodness. That did it. Finally. Very nice. Finally. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I feel happy now. Now that we got that all settled, we're getting high amounts of war exhaustion. The most tense point of the war, sieging the last province. The most tense point of the war, trying to get our army onto this little tiny island. Wasn't it the massive battles he had? No, no, no. Just getting on that island. <laughs> it wasn't even a battle. It was just we were just trying to get our troops onto it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we apparently accept Ruthenian now. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah, which means we have basically like half of our culture down here is Ruthenian. Hmm. Oh, that means we could, let's see, what else is Ruthenian? Because we could probably use this to our advantage. Nothing else. Except for the massive amounts of uh, Lithuanian that's Ruthenian. Hmm. This is almost an entirely useless culture convert, culture accepted. Just saying. It's, it's fine. It's, it's almost entirely useless. Well, I... Bellas is a uh, Ruthenian, so when we inherit them, it's it's useless. <laughs> it's not useless. It's useless. I can go cry in the corner now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, our Lithuanian, our Lithuanian buddies are really idiots. Well, the AI, the AI. Wow, can't work today. It's kind of dumb. Mm-hmm. You can tell me that again. <laughs> I mean, the honestly, AI, it's, it's kind of dumb. <sighs> Come on, seize down. Can, can you guys go send in more troops to go seize up Navarra? No, Navarra? Navarra? What, 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 how do you pronounce that? Navarra. Navarra? Is that an R behind his face? Uh, it's an A, it's N-A-R-V-A. Narva. Narva? Let's go with Narva. Narva? No, no. I don't know. I don't speak Polish. That's technically Russian. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. Look that's at, Look no. at the borders. Yeah, but that's next to, like... Mm-hmm. 
it's Finnish territory. Mm-hmm. I don't mm -hmm. speak Scandinavian. Mm-hmm. I want to ah. thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. That was painful.